to us with the red shirts. They are the current world champions. And the pair they beat in that final in Kuala Lumpur was their opponents of today, the defending champions at the Onyx All England. And Morton, I did think yesterday in the semi final, the Indonesians against the English pair of Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems, I thought they were very, very so impressed. They seemed to be in total one. control most of the time. They were. They um, they had the upper hand the whole time. I think the great advantage for the the pair is that uh, Nazi is so strong at the back that Nova can can rush forward and not really have to think too much about it because he knows that he's covered so well from from uh, from Nazi. But Gao Ling already showing us the sort of quality that she's got. We talked yesterday about Gao Ems and about how she's one of the best, if not the best, front court player in world badminton when she's on form. But the only player, perhaps, who could beat that sort of status is Gao Ling. She's exceptional, isn't she? She is. Um, I, I think that Gao Ling is, is possibly more steady uh, not making uh, that many mistakes at the net where uh, Gail Ems is possibly um, forcing her, her to attack and really trying to play winners where I think Gowling is playing kind of steady and more easy going at the net but no mistakes. So it's over five two. This is the seventh meeting between these two players and seeing as the Chinese partnership only formed over the last 13 months. Oh! The honours are shared so far. Three wins apiece in the previous six three, encounters. Five. Last time they met, though, it was the Indonesians that won at the Hong Kong Open. Jing Bo really is a powerful player, though, isn't he? He's a big, strong lad, and he thunders down those smashes. Yeah, he does, but I think uh, the fact that he is relatively big is also sort of making it difficult for him to move that well on the baseline. So if you can really push him around at the back, he will tend to make more mistakes. Well, this has been an excellent start by the defending champions. It's a good lift, that one. It's a really good lift. Nova thought he had enough pressure, but he obviously didn't. Yeah. That was a good flick serve as well from Gowling. said that so Liliana Natsia, her eight. natural style or her natural strength is from the defensive play. But do you think in a way she needs to take on Gao Ling more at the net and perhaps go forward and challenge that a little bit more? I, I think so. And I also think that she can actually do it. I think also oh. the fact that Gao Ling will allow her to do it and uh, could so be the key to the match if four. the Indonesians are getting more on the attacking side. Goodness, 
Well, we've talked about Liliana Natsia's defence, but what about Gao Ling's? Yeah, I think it was a mistake going cross-court on Gao Ling. Uh, try to apply the pressure down the line on, on, uh, on the boy rather than trying to go cross-court. She's defending it so well. Landing long of that back line, and this has been a superb start by the defending champions 11 4 in this opening game. And Lee Yong Bo, head coach, and Chen Jing Dong will be very happy with that. There's Lee Yong Bo. Crikey, look at that. No errors from the Chinese combination. Yeah, but the Indonesian haven't really forced them yet. I think the Indonesians are playing too passive. They, they have to go up there, they have to start applying some pressure in order to create chances for themselves. But again, I think that Nova is not really adding enough pressure on his return of serve. You know, he's, he's playing it quite safe, soft in the middle, but it's not applying any pressure. See, that's good. I think it's really good of Nova not to be tempted to go cross-court, but he actually, every single time, opted for the straight smash and waited for his chance. And that's what I was sort of thinking about earlier on when I was saying, should she take on Gowling more and go forward to the net? And they're doing precisely that. Yes, well played. But I think Gowling will allow her to do it. I think yeah. she just has to challenge her. with that. 14, 6. The Indonesians have to try to play themselves into this game, but to, might not be able to win it, but at least get ready for the second game. Yeah. And Gaoling. Again, you can see, I think, that Gaoling's favourite is that killing shot she's doing there where she's going cross court. That one there, she's done it a few times before already. And it's a bit like Jonas Rasmussen, what we discussed in the men's doubles the other day. Yeah, always going cross. Always going cross on that one. Oh, 
better return of serve. Seven, 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 Good of Natsia, she's just played that block to the net, they get the lift, and she can't get back out in, in, in defensive stance, and then obviously it's, it's an easy kill. place the shuttle into the open space. So you can see that Gaolin is really stretched on that one and can move forward because there's no attacking shots coming. That's what they need. As I said, they might not win this set. They're maybe too far behind, but at least they get ready for the second. Oh! Well, maybe they say the game is not beyond them. No, they're really close now. Only yeah. four points up. And five straight points to the Indonesian pair. That's a good shot. That is a fabulous shot. Anything above five 12, points in 15. a row is, is really extraordinary. So getting six here in a row is really good. run of points and really has brought them back into this opening game. Wouldn't you consider that shout as trying to influence the, the lines person? Yes, I certainly would. Zheng Bo as the shuttle landing. A shout of delight. And you're absolutely right, Morton, because it does influence the line judge. And I'm not saying that he's not out, but I'm saying next time if he's closer yep. and he's still shouting, yep. what's the call going to be? Yep. Now he's really applying the pressure. Yeah, the Indonesians are back in attack and obviously controlling a lot, lot more now than the beginning of the match. So um, we're getting a very good game here. away through matches does Gowling. Oh, she's certainly not happy with that unforced error. Seven points adrift at the mid-game interval. That's very 
clever play from Liliana Nazia. She has really taken control of the net. That shot there, moving forward, another good shot there, and then covering the cross court. It's, it's really good. Three, four good shots in a row. And the world champions are back level. And who would have thought that? So it's a very important for the Indonesians now to keep the momentum going. One have a tendency to, you know, if you've been that far down, catching up, getting there, then automatically you start relaxing a little bit. Oh, I'm here. So they really have to force their way through now. This is extraordinary. She can walk on water. Yeah. Well, the Indonesians have won 12 of the last 13 rallies against the defending champions and the world number ones. That is extraordinary. Placed. Just wide by a whisker. So a level in this opening game. debate about whether the shuttle should be changed or not. Well. Yeah, players have a preference. Some prefer to, you know, serve with the new shuttles, others with an old one. So um. oh. Well, Liliana Nazia really is going through a purple so patch at the moment. 19, Good from the front of the court here. Good placement on the smash that got her partner involved at the front of the court to finish off the rally. And now just two points away from this opening game. Oh. Now just the one. Look at that. That is good play. 20, game point, 18. Very quick record skills. Just extraordinary. 6-15 down at one stage. And the world Plays champions the take the opening the game 21-18. Really extraordinary comeback by the world champions Nova Widianto and Liliana Natsin to take that opening game.